All right. Tile and coping renovation. Hello, I have a very old in-ground swimming pool which has a wooden frame. It is 16 by 32 with aluminum coping. We had the liner replaced five years ago. Halfway down the long side of the pool on both sides, the coping gives the appearance of angling in. My husband suspects the coping is slipping away from the wood bond beam. The pool is very old. We have lived here for 18 years and it was here when we got here. I know the pool has a wood frame, which is the oldest material used for in-ground pools. The question is, can we lift the coping and reattach it so that it is straight or is there a bigger problem going on? Are there any tutorials or instructions on how to fix aluminum coping that's attached to a wood frame as I am having a hard time finding anything any help would be appreciated. So that's a great question that you're not likely to find a video uh, of that. Something that I've seen many times over the years, again, with lots of practice, lots of experience to see this kind of stuff. Usually what happened when that coping was mounted to the wood is those screws, if they didn't use stainless steel screws, they used galvanized screws or something that they had at the time and or the womanizing of the wood. Did the wood have the strength to hold it or not? What would often happen is the head of the screw would rust out and that coping would slide out over the pool, giving it the appearance that it's not straight. That's certainly one potential. The other potential though, the more likely culprit, and doesn't mean it is in this case, is that along the long wall of the pool, the wall is actually bowing in. So what happened was in some of those early vinyl liner pools, the walls were put in straight. There may have been concrete behind them. There may not have been concrete behind them to hold them in place. Uh, and often over time, the middle section, because it was a long wall, would, would tend to get pushed in. And think about the freeze thaw, especially if you're in an area where you're having freezing and thawing, is that's pushing on and then letting up, pushing on and then letting up. And over time, that wall itself just fatigues and it kind of kind of would work its way in. So again, are we talking this much? Are we talking this much? How much are we, that, that would determine a lot. If it's this much, it's clearly the wall. If it's this much, it could just be the coping sliding into the pool. And that might be easy enough to pull back and screw back down. Uh, you could send in some photos. Yeah, that, 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 that would certainly help. The other thing is it, this work is gonna be a lot easier to be done without a liner in the pool. So. If it's time to replace the liner, again, that's part of the expense of this, but that might be the time to do it. However, having a wood wall pool, be very, be careful, very careful taking mm -hmm. the liner and mm -hmm. the water out of the pool, mm -hmm. because that is a time where the, the if pressure on the walls is going to push any them ground in. water mm -hmm. behind those walls. And not even in this particular case, not even ground water, just just ground pressure ground alone. Ground pressure. Okay. We be very careful. over the years we've had plenty of pools, push in, bow in. We've had to replace walls at times over the years uh, and there's nothing fun about it, but likely, again, maybe pictures would be good that I could get a, a better assessment of what I think is going on, but um, it's not gonna be the, f the most fun or the most glamorous work to do, but it certainly can be done. All right, hope that helps.